Not many people do this, but you can dig up the ground and then place it down to cross the river. Most people would just craft the bridges, but I thought I should just point it out anyway. If you press and hold shift, you can bring out your torch as long as you have it in your inventory. Your offhand item that gives you glow stacks with food. So over here, my orb lantern gives me 5 glow, and the spicy tulip salad gives me 4 glow. If I eat my spicy tulip salad, I should have 9 glow total. If you find these little axes on the ground, use a shovel and right click it. They contain valuable items or sometimes seeds. If you're out adventuring, always carry with you a salvage and repair station. That's because you can get scrap easily from crafting wood pickaxes and then turning it into scrap parts. Then you can just repair your equipment straight away. A common misconception I've seen people do is that they think you need to put in your stuff into the box here to repair your gear. Well, you don't actually need to do that. If you reach a certain threshold for your hunger bar, you get these well-fed bonuses, which increases your damage, health, and movement speed. Uh, this is affected by the cooking skill tree, um, healthy diet, which increases the buffs percentages by 20% each level, up to 100%. So the base is 5%. If you have healthy diet at 100% at level 5, it will go up to 10%. What I find unique about this is each of these um, buffs have their own thresholds. So you need to have 75 hunger bar and above to get the increased damage. Um, you need 85 and above to get max health. And 95 and above to get the movement speed buff. Someone on Reddit posted that you only consume food by moving around. And if you travel around 26 tiles, you will consume one of the hunger bar. Uh, actions such as mining or fishing and farming do not consume hunger bar. You can read more about this post in the description down below. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching and see you soon.